effective pitcher. This place is buzzing in a first pitch fastball is a called strike one. Not easy to do on a night like tonight. Jordan smacks it. Ground ball deep in the hole. It's short. Hyzak up with it across the way and not in time. Jordan will give you the call as he stepped on the bag as well. If you're going to be able to hit the pitching. Roped into left field for a base hit. That was off the glove of the shortstop, Hyzak. Big turn by Jordan. He'll dig for third and get there without a toss. Mississippi State with two in scoring position. Runs as well. Chance to do some damage. Swats it to first base. Runner comes home. That'll make it 1-0 Bulldogs. Advancing to third will be Cam James. And Mississippi State jumps out in front. I don't think that's <laughs> going to change tonight. Launch in the left. The line drive will make it 2-0. Logan Tanner, a clutch two-out run scoring single. Cumbus, a 325 hitter this season. Left side. Third baseman comes up with it and fires in time, and that was Locklear. Good start here tonight as well. The 2-2 launched. Deep left field, and that ball is gone. VCU slices the Bulldogs' lead in half, and it's 2-1. Jack Schroeder exits the ballpark. No need to wait on the fastball when I can catch a curveball, get underneath it, and take it for a ride. A little get over curveball coming from a cloud, and Schrader had a beat on it all the way. Now, when you've won 22 in a row, you have guys like that. Back to the top of the order. Rowdy Jordan's one for one. Smacks this one to deep right field. Off the top of the wall. Two hits tonight for Rowdy Jordan. Gallops into second base with a two-out double. To second. Through the wickets. Jordan will come around home to score. Three to one Bulldogs, and Tanner Allen gets it done. Haydack couldn't come up with it. Able to deliver clutch, hard hit balls. Belted to deep left. Ballpark's going to hold it. Henson comes up with a grab. Three straight balls, make it four. Leadoff man is aboard. Tanner with a hit and an RBI already. Ground ball to short, could be two, six, four, three. Just what the doctor ordered for Mason Delane. Brad Compass will lead things off. Lifted to left, towards the gap. Welcome. And it's gone. Brad Cumbus, second hit in Starkville in this regional. And his biggest one to date. That makes it 4-1 to one Bulldogs. Stuff than what Delane was doing for VCU. Clark gets into this one. Deep right. Back to back, Jacks. Five to one, MSU. Seems like they're going to have to struggle to get runs in. Left side. Base hit. Jordan digs for third. He'll make it easily. Now second is Tanner Allen. Lifted to right. Schroeder tracking. He'll call off Brown. And a little confusion Ooh. there at the end. He almost <laughs> dropped it. And he's got some words for a center fielder. When, you, when you're throwing like that, you're not touching 80, you know. You're not really breaking glass, as they like to say. And this Mississippi State team is used to seeing hard throwers on a regular, consistent basis. The one. Ground ball. Stopped by Haydack. And the throw.
Gets away from the first baseman, Carpenter. So Tanner escapes to third. DeBrule will get to second on the air and toss. And Cumbus got beamed. And he didn't like that one bit. That's still stinging him. 3 1 count <laughs> needs to make a good pitch. Curveball upstairs. Give Clark an RBI. Tanner comes home. Still nobody out. Bases juice for Lane Forsyth and make it 6 to 1, Mississippi State. Fans saw it, batters saw it. They tried to point it out, so good job by going to get some clarification on whether or not it's going to be a ball. Close play at first, and Ward just beat him. And how about the tremendous work of Andrew Ward coming out of the bullpen? They were getting beat by a lot. He wasn't used to that. But in this case, have an opportunity for a save. Get back on it. Prove to me that it was a one-time fluke what we saw. Payoff from McLeod on the way. Up the middle, base hit. Hibbets rounding third. He'll touch home, make it 6-2. to two. And a professional A.B. for Hunter Vey once again. Campbell. Sends it to deep left field. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. A two-run bomb. And the Rams are back in it in Starkville. Jay, they left him in there one batter too long, didn't they? He started to labor a little bit. You can tell he was trying to aim the pitches. And the changeup when the fastball couldn't blow by him. They caught on to it. Just a little bit too long for McLeod in this game. And a good job of hitting by Michael Haydock. Inning for VCU and his 22-game winning streak. Lace into left center. Inning will continue. First hit of the night for Hyzak. And he gets all the way to second base and a little hip rocking to go with it. Down he goes. <laughs> Up the middle, that'll sneak through. Leadoff man's aboard, that's Cameron James. Good at bat. Yesterday, and then got a victory today. And here comes MSU, first two reach. Single by James, the walk issued to Hancock. And there's... Does he have it in him? Bases loaded. How did Tanner lay off that one? They're keeping the infield at double play depth. Into right field. Base hit. Station to station. One run comes in. 7-4 Mississippi State. Still nobody out. James touches home. Big Brad digs back in. That hit him. It did. What a mistake by Ward. That'll bring home another run. 8-4 Bulldogs, still nobody out. Bases remain loaded as Hancock scores. We saw in the previous game, anything could happen. To second. Oh, it's booted. One run is in. Still nobody out. Tough play for Haydak. Tanner touches home. It's 9-4. to four. Yeah. Down the left field line. That's going to flare for a base hit. One run is in. Two runs will score. Mississippi State in command, 11 to 4. And how about the base running by the Bulldogs? Rowdy seeing him for the second time, he knew he was going to get a good look at it. Runner at second base sees it right away. Knows it's not hit that deep to the outfield. He's turning immediately. And Rowdy's thinking, I'm going double. Let's left field double. And they don't even catch him. 
just one of those days in the deep. Flair to left. That'll drop. Two more runs will score. Clark and Jordan come home. 13 to 4, Mississippi State. And a seven spot up here in the sixth. Tanner Allen getting it done, just drives this ball. Seeing Andrew Ward for the second time. You knew he was going to have a bat. To bat it around here in the six. James, deep into the night. And it's gone. 15 to 4, Mississippi State. Bulldogs are flexing at the dude. Little relief. Finally. And that'll do it in the sixth inning. The classifications, if, a, if the rules say after three years you're still a freshman, then you're still a freshman. You may be a mature freshman. Well, I think that maturity matters. I mean, <laughs> you jinxed we were bragging right? about it, right? <laughs> Could be two. Second, short, back to first, double play. Little four, six, three, twin killing. And he walks on four straight. Fourth time tonight he's reached. Pick it. Field in this position well. Deep in the hole, it's short. Long throw. And that'll pull Carpenter off the back. Advancing to third will be Tanner Allen. Opportunity to get back at this VCU plot. Allen comes home quickly. James gets over to third on the wild pitch. Back to short. High Zach flips and fires in time. Twitter again coming through. As does Mississippi State on the bump. Win streak over. Bulldogs headed to the regional final tomorrow night here in Starkville. 16-4, the final score.